Today's the day, Charlie. You can do it. Let's go. Hi, Laura. Hey, Charlie. I really like your, um, eyebrows. Oh, um, thank you. So, I, I was wondering if... Oh, gotta go. See you later, Charlie. Nick Steely's Six Steps to Picking Up Women. I wonder what that is. Hey there, Alphas. My name is Nick Steely, and I'm here to be your pickup coach. This is part one of my six step series, Steely's Six Steps to Picking Up Women. Let's get into it. Step one, self-esteem. The best thing that you can do for your self-esteem is to bring hers down. A woman with no self-worth will date any old chump, even you. The things that you can do to lower a woman's self-esteem are as follows. Tell her that her hair looks bad. Tell her that she's fat and that she needs to eat less. Remind her that men are always better than women. Make her feel stupid. One of my favorite ways to make women feel stupid are to explain basic topics to them but dumb it down immensely. I mean, slow down your talking and everything. Women's brains are smaller than men's. It has been biologically proven. They can't handle information that fast. Step two, call her names. This step very closely follows the self-esteem step, but it's noticeably different because you must lower her self-esteem before you start calling her names. Otherwise, she ain't gonna tolerate it. Call her things like <coughs> Dumb, 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 and my personal favorite. You can get creative with it too. Combine old names to make new ones. Combine words to make them more offensive. But most importantly, have fun. And that's all for today, Alphas. Come back next time for more Alpha tips and tricks. I'm Nick Steely, and I'll see you next time. Well, I sure do have my work cut out for me. Um, shut up, dumb ho. Excuse me? Crap, wrong order. I mean, you're fat and your hair looks bad. Thanks, Charlie. Hi, Laura. What do you want? Are those your raisins? Yeah. Are you gonna eat all of those? They're raisins. Okay. You know, you really need to eat less. You're really packing on the pounds, like... Ch Charlie, it's dried fruit. You're being, like, really rude right now. A man knows best, Laura. You wouldn't understand. You know, you need to, like, get out of here, like, right now. Why isn't it working? What did Nick say to do? Come on, load. This damn school Wi-Fi.
Here we go. Hey there, Alphas. My name Turn is Nick Steely, and I'm here to be your pickup coach. What? This is part one Turn of my that off. step series. Charlie, do you get detention? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Uh, Mr. Brown just had whatever feminist female bullcrap he was going off about and telling me that the, the video I was watching was inappropriate, so I, I don't know what's up with him. He's practically a woman at this point. You know, he's going to tell me that I can't learn how to be a real man, you know? So, but. Charlie, I gotta go. No, 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 wait, 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 Laura, I wanted to, to talk to you. Let me guess. I'm fat and ugly. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Oh, hey, Mom. I heard you had a little trouble at school today. Oh, that? Yeah, it was just some dumb woman trying to take away my rights and forbid me from learning how to be a real man, but I figured it out. It's fine. What? Look, I would love to stay and talk about this, but... I have work to do, so see you later, Mom. All right, Nick, what can you teach me today? Hey, Alphas, welcome back. Glad to see you again. If you're watching this, then that means you've made it past steps one and two and are ready to continue your journey of picking up women. Because of your success, you're ready to unlock your full potential. But we can't just have anybody gaining access to this wonderful knowledge, can we? That's why parts two and beyond are only available on my website, MrSteelyYoGirl.com. For just $199.99, you can unlock my premium content and see all of my videos about being an alpha male, trucks, and picking up women. So will I see you on my website, or are you a beta male? You decide. I'm Nick Steely, and I hope to see you next time. This is a very valuable investment, but I don't have two hundred dollars. Welcome back, Alphas. Glad to see that you've made the powerful decision in continuing your masculine education. Today, we're going to be talking about step three of Steely's six steps to picking up women. Let's get into it. Now that you've mastered verbal harassment, it's time to take it a step further. Public humiliation. Women hate being humiliated, and that is why you are going to be the hero. By intentionally setting up a situation that will embarrass her, you can more easily be the one to fix it. Women love to be saved. It has been biologically proven. The second that you save your damsel in distress, she will be in love with you. The easiest way to humiliate a woman is to upset her appearance. Spray mustard on her, drench her in water, whatever you can do to make her ugly and unattractive. And just as she's about to explode at you, you pull out the towel and boom, you've saved the day. You get to be her knight in shining armor, and you're still maintaining full control over the situation. Well, Alphas, that's going to be all for today. Tune in next time to learn the next steps on how to win over your lady. I'm Nick Steely, and I'll see you next time. I'm very surprised, but good job. What's up with you? Stop. Stop. Damn. 
Everyone, everyone. I would just like to inform everybody that Laura here, Charlie, failed her test. Charlie. Do not follow her. your test. It was really hard. Are you okay? Are you fucking kidding me? You just embarrassed me in front of the whole goddamn class and now you're trying to console me? You're insane. Hang on. What's Laura? Deal with that? What are you trying to do with that? How about you just talk to me like a normal person? It's my notes. Why did you do that? God, I'm so dumb. All right, Nick. You've let me down a little bit. Help me fix it. Hey there, Alphas. Welcome back to Steely's Six Steps to Picking Up Women. Glad to see that you've made it this far. Today we're gonna be going over step four of Steely's Six Steps to Picking Up Women. Let's get into it. At this point in the game, your lady may or may not be receptive to physical touch. Regardless, step four is all about making physical contact. Now that you've verbally harassed her and degraded her in front of her friends, the next thing that you're going to do is grab her. This can either be done to scare her or to show that you have power over her. But the one thing that you should avoid is the chokehold. Many men go for this as the first move, but it is barbaric. Too many things can go wrong. She might be shorter than you, she might be a biter, and she can charge you with assault. To avoid bite marks and assault charges, what you're gonna do is grab her around the waist, catching her arms in the process, but you have to do it from behind. You have to literally pick her up. Women love to be picked up like this. It's a fun surprise. By doing this, you are asserting your dominance over her, but are also showing her that you are a strong and providing male. She'll be all over you after you pull this one. That's all for today, Alphas. I'm Nick Steely, and I'll see you next time. I know what I must do. Charlie, come do the dishes. Showtime. Oh my god, who are you? Charlie, what are you doing? Trying to pick you up. Dude, oh my god, I'm literally just gonna call the police on you. Just leave me alone. Laura! Back to the drawing board, I guess. Alright, Nick. What are we gonna do today? Hey Alphas, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing step 5 of Steely's 6 steps to picking up women. Let's get into it. Now this step is very important because it segues perfectly into our final step. So don't screw it up. Notice how all of the prior steps were about your lady. We weren't really focusing on the person that matters most. Ourselves. Step 5 is centered around your diet and your wardrobe. And after completion, we'll leave any woman wanting much more. The first part of this step is to switch up your diet a bit. Eat foods that are big, meaty, and really make your jaw work. This will increase your jawline and give you that nice, nice Nick Steely look. It's not all about your meals either. Sometimes, between them, I'll chew on a sponge just to keep my jaw working. No way! Hey Charlie, have you seen my sponges? I'll just use a rag. The next part of this step is to change up your wardrobe. The best thing that you can wear to attract a woman is exactly what you see right here. 
That's right, I've linked my entire outfit on this website for just $99.99 with overnight shipping at an additional $49.99. Who wouldn't want to look like me? All the women will want you and all the men will want to be you. Unleash your inner alpha today. Well, that's all for today, alphas. Remember your sponges. I'm Nick Steely, and I'll see you next time. What are you wearing? Oh, this? This, this is just my casual outfit, you know, not, nothing major, nothing fancy. You look like an idiot. Laura, they were sold out of the red bandanas. All I could get was the blue ones. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. I'd rather be a jerk than an idiot. Well, I'd rather be an idiot than a total dumb bitch. I'd rather be a total dumb bitch than an absolute oblivious dumb male who grabs women in the hallways and purposely, purposely abuses them for attention. Well, I'd rather be that than a, a stupid poop head girl. Wow, Charlie, A plus. You didn't even need your fucking notebook for that. My male intelligence is far superior to anything that you could accomplish. Listen, people like you are the scum of the earth, okay? I don't understand why you're so horrible to me, Charlie. It doesn't make any sense. If I did something or said something to make you think that these actions are, like, reasonable, then I'm sorry. I am truly sorry. But you need to calm down. I'm a catch, Laura. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize that. Are you eating a sponge? You wouldn't understand it if I explained it to you. He pulled out this large green sponge and he took a bite out of it. He just started chewing it. I don't what get it. Hell? I don't get what the point of the sponge is. I don't get how that will like I, I don't I think he's trying to like actually like screw with me. He has to be trying to be screwing with me because I don't understand what his intentions are with a sponge. Yeah, I just I I'm I'm done with all this like silly sponge stuff. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like Hey Laura. Hey Charlie. You gotta get ready, cause something big, it's coming. You don't know when, you don't know where, but something big, it's coming. So get ready, cause it's coming. What do you want about? Dude, get out of here. Like actually, get out of here, Charlie, come on. What are you wearing? Don't worry about it. All right, Nick, I'm ready for the final step. Teach me your ways. Hey, Alphas. Welcome back to Steely's Six Steps to Picking Up Women. Today, we're going to be talking about the final step, asking out your lady. Let's get into it. At this point in the game, your lady is probably really into you and ready for you to ask her out. But if she's not, this last step is going to change everything. Science has proven that women are attracted to confident and powerful men, and that's exactly who you're going to be. You'll approach her, preferably when she's with other women, and tell, not ask her, to be your girlfriend. Going full circle back to steps one and two, call her things like b and h to further push the idea that you are more powerful than her. Your masculinity will be so overwhelming, she'll have no choice but to say yes. Having other women there will make them jealous and make her think that you are more desirable. Well, Alphas, that's the final step. Best of luck to you out there. I'm Nick Steely, and I hope to see you again soon. Come so far. I can't believe it's finally time. No, I don't. No. I have absolutely no idea. No, dude, I can't believe she gave us, like, she's making us write over winter break. It's like, what? nobody's gonna do that. No, for real. Hey, she Laura. can't expect us. Charlie, what do you want? 
You're gonna be my girlfriend or what? <laughs> Charlie, I have a boyfriend. Like, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm taken, man. <laughs> Get out here now. Your father and I need to talk to you about the credit card.